Hey everybody, welcome to the Swamp Pit with Hooterville 75 and Midnight to Ferocious Sissy. Bringing you a video on a, not really a tutorial or a how-to. I can do a video of a how-to and tutorial on how to build this if you're interested. But I don't know if any of you guys are into connects or not. My daughter and I used to be into connects big time. They're basically just little pieces. Here, let me show you some different little pieces. They're basically just different pieces, kind of like an erector set, but only in plastic, where you have different shaped pieces, 60 degree angles, little blue spacers, little black tracks, like if you wanted to make a tank track, little half circles, and there's just a bag of assorted pieces, long sticks, short sticks, medium sticks, but... I have thousands and thousands of these pieces and I decided you know what I'm gonna make a paint rack for my testers paints so I went about using my creative thinking and went onto the internet as well and found plans on how to make a paint stand and adjusted it a little bit so you have kind of a 90 degree angle here with pieces that like I said I'll do a how-to tutorial on how to build it and build it individually step by step if people are interested just comment down below if you'd like to see me build this and I'll do it on on a video step by step but basically it has legs back here to sit down like I said there's various size pieces that it connects rods long ones medium short ones Here's short ones, and there's real, real short ones, if you can see that little green one connecting the two pieces here. Um, basically, how it works is it sits down. Try to bend the camera down to show you. And then you take your little testers bottles and just set them on there. Hold six bottles of shelf. You can make it any size you want. I just whip this up quick to show you. And then you have a top section here too as well. There you go. You have a... You can add another section onto this side or this side. Go as long, as wide as you want. Go as high as you want. As long as you have the post down here to hold it, to break, to hold it up like this. And go as high as you want. Basically, these gray sticks right here are about, bear with me a minute here, where is the tape measure? Okay, I lost my tape measure, but we got this right here, so let's use this, if I can get it off the nail here, come on. Basically, the longest stick is 8 inches long, so you can go as high as 8 inches. Right now, we're about... Right now, we're about 3 and 3 quarter inches high, so you could go as high as 8 inches. So, I thought this was a neat little way to... This is my brush painting paints. I use all kinds of, of different more these are all enamels right here and then I have my acrylics in a container like this so I wouldn't need a very big one for acrylics I probably just branch off and make one off to the side here for my acrylics but here it is all finished so you can see it works pretty good so that's my tip of the day like I said if you'd like to see a how-to video of how to build this individually piece by piece let me know and I'll actually build one step by step start to finish on one of video so just comment down below if you're interested so that's it that's my that's my tip of the day my first tip video period haha <laughs> I'm proud and happy of that so hope everybody's having a great Easter having a great family time like to wish everybody a happy Easter and I'll catch everybody on the flip side. Till then for now, this is Hooterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy bringing you my first ever how-to tip of my YouTube career. 
Enjoy your day, fellas. Have a great holiday.